Welcome back, gamers. Today, we're diving deep into nostalgia to uncover the dark side of one of our favorite consoles, the Nintendo 64. While it brought us classics like Super Mario 64 and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, not every release was a masterpiece. Strap in as we count down the top 10 worst Nintendo 64 games that you probably tried to forget. Let's get started. On our list at number 10 is Superman 64, infamous for its atrocious controls, repetitive missions, and fog-filled metropolis. Flying through rings isn't anyone's idea of heroism, and this game is often cited as one of the worst of all time. Slipping into number 9 is Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. While the franchise is beloved, this game failed to capture the excitement and action of the Power Rangers. With its mundane gameplay, repetitive missions, and graphics that didn't do the colorful Rangers justice, it's a game that even the most ardent fans found disappointing. Number 8 is Daikatana, John Romero's ambitious project that fell flat due to outdated graphics, poor AI, and a host of bugs. Despite its promise, it's remembered as a cautionary tale in game development. At number 7, Carmageddon 64 crashes into our list. This port from the PC was a disaster with terrible graphics, sluggish controls, and a general lack of the original's charm. It was controversial, but for all the wrong reasons. Mortal Kombat Mythology's Sub-Zero slides into number 6. Attempting to mix platforming with the classic Mortal Kombat formula didn't pan out, resulting in frustrating gameplay and a forgettable story. Halfway through at number 5 is South Park. Despite the show's popularity, the game suffered from repetitive gameplay, poor voice acting, and graphics that did little to capture the charm of South Park. Number four brings us Biofreaks, a fighting game that tried to stand out with its futuristic setting, but was held back by clunky controls and a lack of depth in its gameplay mechanics. Coming in at number 3, War Gods attempted to capitalize on the 3D fighting game craze, but ended up a forgettable mess with stiff animations, confusing controls, and uninspired character design. An ultimate entry on our list is Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. Despite the potential for a great Batman game, it was marred by monotonous gameplay, poor level design, and lackluster combat.
and the worst game on our list, Quest 64. This RPG promised an epic adventure, but delivered a tedious, uninspiring journey with simplistic combat, a bare-bones story, and a lack of the depth that RPG players crave. There you have it, folks. The top 10 worst Nintendo 64 games that remind us that not all that glitters is gold. Did any of these titles bring back painful memories, or did we miss any of your least favorites? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more gaming deep dives. Until next time, keep playing. Just maybe not these games.